never fast draw, fan, spin, spin cock, try and do a triple shot, anything with live ammo. I'm a professional. Well, not really, but I am a legend in my own mind, so I can do it. So, uh, Benji over at Mill Creek Range stole my idea for the holster video a couple weeks ago. Thanks, buddy. And, uh, I haven't had any time to get out and do any shooting. I got, uh, another idea for a shooting video. So, as you guys know, I'm a big fan of revolvers. I prefer revolvers. Not saying that revolvers are better than some autos or anything else, just I prefer them. And one of the main reasons why I prefer revolvers is because you get into these polymer frames, these Glocks, these SIGs, and I know they're reliable. I'm not saying that they're not reliable. I'm not saying that they're junk or anything else. They're very hard to personalize, and life's too short to own an ugly gun. Just saying. But uh, you can look back in history. You had guys like uh, the Texas Ranger, um, Gonzalez. He carried a 1911, and he also carried uh, a couple fit specials. But he had some ivory or ivory-looking grips and other custom grips on his guns. And, and while Bill Hickok had ivory grips on his guns. A lot of your lawmen, your outlaws, your gamblers and that, from as far back as when handguns were being made, they were customizing them. So, like on this fit special here that I have, this is real elk horn grips on it. And uh, they just kind of personalize a gun that is already, you know, with the open trigger guard and that, already different. Here's my other Fitz special, and it's got Magnetus grips on it that are aged to look like real old ivory. Then you can also do like my race gun, my uh, Hand of God gun from 310 to Yuma. I inlighted these crosses, the Hand of God crosses, in the wood grips, and uh, it just makes it different. Kind of personalizes it. I have another set of magnet tusk grips on this 1872 open top that I put across on there. Ruger Old Army with magnet tusk grips. So in case you can't tell, I kind of like the looks of ivory grips, especially on blued guns. I really like the looks of ivory looking grips. To me, that's just... I love that color combination when you take like the case color hardening and the bluing with the, the Magnetus grips or Magnetus grips on this blue Ruger Old Army. I really like that. Here's my 1911. It's got some real giraffe bone grips on it, made out of real giraffe bone, and it's got Revelations verses on both sides of the grips. You guys have seen the, the 357 Magnum little J frame. It's got uh, ivory looking grips that are scrimshawed. The 44 Bulldog with the scrimshawed grips. These are still new, so they don't have that aged ivory look. You can see the color difference after they age for a while but I, I've just always grown up around revolvers always been a big fan of revolvers and I always like to make my stuff different than everybody else's so the easiest way to do that is doing grips on a gun you know 
you, you do the grips on a gun, you can change the whole looks of the gun, make it look totally different. And so for me, it's real easy to do on a revolver. Um, you can even make your own grips. You can get some sheep horn off of the internet or some panels like Plowboy did that look like ivory and cut and shape them yourself. I don't have that much time, so I buy grips and have them done. Like the Magnetus grips and these grips are made by Sid, Sidney Ryan. And then he also scrum shawls them. And getting on that, I think when we get up to four, maybe five thousand subscribers, I think I'm going to send Sydney the money to make a custom pair of grips for a J frame if you want, or a 1911 or whatever. And I think I'm just going to send him the money. We'll do a, a giveaway, we'll pick a name out of the subscriber list, and it'll be all paid for. You just tell him what model grip you want. He's got hundreds, if not thousands, of different images that he can scrimshaw on there, um, and just tell him what you want, have him do them up, and then he'll send them to you. Um, kind of want to just say thanks for everybody that watches and comments and that um probably at 4,000 subscribers i think i'm gonna do that it's a big milestone when you hit 4,000 subscribers and like i said that'll be all out of my pocket it won't be any expense for whoever wins so but i just figured i'd show off you know some of my guns that have custom grips I have others, but I didn't feel like dragging everything out, so I just pretty much grabbed my favorites for today. And uh, hope everybody has a great day.